Hey everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101. It is Friday. I originally had another idea for a video today, but time was short, planning on uh, shooting some stuff this weekend, and I was actually me just messing around with something uh, based on some things I've been uh, learning here in the last week or so, and I had an idea. So I just tried this idea out, and it actually worked perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and share this with you. And it's very simple. I'm going to show you how to take a belt that you might already have and turn it into an escape and evasion kit. So don't go away. Okay, so this is my Blackhawk CQB Riggers belt. I've been talking to uh, Jack from Black Scout Survival a lot lately, and I was actually studying some other material from a guy that was trained by the same guy that trained Jack. And just looking around at all the different kind of urban type new skills that I could possibly mess with. And I was playing around with some stuff that uh, I got from Jack, uh, some lock picks, and that got me playing with other things and now I've been obsessed with just picking locks and all sorts of fun stuff lately. But I don't know what made me think of this, but just a little bit ago I took off my Black Hawk belt and I looked to see if there was, I was like, I thought there was a label in there. Was there? You know, sure as heck there is. So here's what I did. I wanted to, I, I was carrying some of these tools taped to a library card in my wallet but it's like you know what that's not the best place for it this would be and I can hear the the cynics already but this stuff is not intended for escaping from lawful custody this isn't intended for getting away from the cops or anything like that this is good for people that travel overseas where, you know, tourists are commonly kidnapped and things like that. Or just to cross one more thing off your list when it comes to preparedness. Because this is something that you can literally make and then just not even think about it anymore. But let's just say, for instance, something happens and you're kidnapped. You're, you're, maybe you're handcuffed, maybe you're duct tape behind your back I mean whatever come up with come up with a scenario here's what I did I took a razor blade and I cut the stitching on one side of this and I wanted to make sure I didn't lose anything so Gorilla Tape is the best thing to seal this off with you got me and this is and when I was trying to figure out which side I wanted to cut, I basically had to put the belt on and see where the label was in relation to being on my back. So all I got to do is peel that tape off and attached to a little piece of wire, I put an, a Havilon uh, skinning blade. I think this is the 60 XT. Covered it with some tape and slid it in there. So I got that so I can easily pull it out. Now you may th say to yourself, well now you got it all covered with tape, so now what? Well, if I could figure out how I did it, I'll have to practice here a little bit more. But I folded over the tape on one side course you could just twist it and cut your way out because it's got that sharp edge I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll just have to retape it but originally I had folded over one side so I could peel it apart so stop right there so there is a blade stored in your belt so if your hands are behind your back, you need to cut out a duct tape, you need to cut out a rope. Basically, I was listening to an audiobook, which I'll be sharing with you here uh, soon, and he was talking about how to escape from different types of restraints. And some of it sounded kind of uh, difficult when it came to rope and things like that. So 
I could just start racking my brain trying to think, well, what could I do to remedy that? So there's the blade, but that's not all that's in here. The next thing that's in here is a set of lock picks. Now these lock picks are incredible. I showed these to Steve at Survival Tactics and he, he sells lock picks and he plays around with them and stuff like that. He'd never seen these before. These are the Bogota Nano lock picks and uh, Jack actually sells it on his site, uh, blackscoutsurvival.com. And I just decided to go ahead and get these out and play with them yesterday. Uh, I got a padlock out and I literally opened the lock within 10 seconds. All I did was watch one of his videos to kind of understand how the locked work. So you can use it either way. Both pieces have your tension wrench end, and then you got your rake, and then you've got your individual pin pick. But having never picked a lock before in my life, yesterday I was able to repeatedly pick uh, padlocks and get into my house so guess what i gotta do next week <laughs> i gotta get better locks for my door because once you start messing with this you realize just how easy it is and then you're gonna want to go check your house and see if you need to change your security a little bit but that's not all that's in here of course you just gotta be patient push it out a little bit we also have a handcuff key now you can I also taught myself how to get out of handcuffs using bobby pins and shims and stuff like that but if you got one of these that makes it a heck of a lot easier that's to deal with the lock or the the double lock and then that's the key lock obviously so right there all that all that stuff right there was fits easily behind and, and I know most tactical belts that I've seen have some sort of label on the inside of them so why not utilize that uh, even if it's just a handcuff key or a blade or, or just some extra little piece of gear in case something happens I mean I, what if ninjas attack everybody loves the what if ninjas and you want everything at your disposal to help get yourself out of being tied up. Well, right there, there there's two things that's going to make it a lot more easy to get out if your hands are behind your back. Now, if your hands are in front of you, well, then there's the methods for breaking out of duct tape, breaking out of zip ties, which is pretty much the same. Uh, check out uh, Jack's YouTube channel. And then I'll also be sharing here in the near future this book that I've been listening to. And it is just, it's, it's phenomenal. It's got kind of a, a flamboyant name to it. Kind of almost sounds like clickbait. But it literally, the stuff that it talks about, it, it, the book could be called, titled, Prepared Mind 101. Because a lot of it is the mind stuff and the awareness, situational awareness and just so much good stuff in it. I've just been listening to it constantly. Whenever I'm in the gym, I'm listening to it. And I'm just going to keep listening to it for 21 days because that's my typical learning cycle. That's how long it takes for things to just sink into your subconscious. So we'll be touching more on this stuff later and I'll be recommending more YouTube channels and books and things like that because I like to just tell people where I'm learning it from rather than learn it, repackage it, and try to sell myself as you know this kind of expert or whatever i'm learning along with everybody else but you can learn stuff really quick like i said i had no idea how easy it was to pick most locks it was pretty amazing so yeah i mean this blackhawk cqb belt which is the one that i normally recommend has got the perfect size label right there where you can pretty much easily stuff all those tools in there and there you've got a pretty respectable set of escape and evasion tools so right off the bat i see it in all these videos the youtube lawyers are going to chime in depends on where you live what your law what your local laws are in ohio uh you're allowed to have lock picks without being a licensed uh locksmith and stuff like that secondly um don't be involved in any criminal activity 
<laughs> um, how many times has a cop ever searched me in my lifetime? Mm, none. Because I'm not a criminal. I'm not out doing stuff. So, when we talk about the 95-5 equation, most of the time, your biggest risk is not being lost in the woods and not being able to find food. It's one of the other six, seven billion people out there that is a bad guy. And maybe they've got bad intentions for you. I mean, stuff happens. Point of fact, uh, I don't even have to look up the statistics to know it. There's a lot more people out there that get kidnapped, held against their will, than get lost in the woods. Simple fact. So, you know how to make a bow drill fire. Have you taught yourself how to get out of restraints? You know, that's what uh, I started. That's part of the skill set that, you know, I try to learn. My goal for this year is to learn new stuff every month. And I started this one... I wasn't really going in a calendar month, but about two weeks ago, I started studying some new stuff, and you know, it's just a lot of it is just really easy, but you have to learn it. So you have to know where to go to find the really cool information, which I'm going to be sharing that here in the near future. But if you got a tactical belt, I'm sure there's probably a label on there somewhere. If there's not, Gorilla Tape. Just tape it on the inside of your belt with Gorilla Tape. That will hold it. So literally, you could do something like this with just about any belt. At the bare minimum, uh, put some of those uh, Havilon blades on the back of your belt because it always, I mean, knives, there's always going to be a, a, a case where you need a knife or something on I mean use your imagination come up with some come up with some new stuff that I haven't thought of uh, maybe I don't know I don't know come up with something I mean there's a lot a lot of different things that you could do with uh, that little label trick or just using the grill tape on the back of your belt that I haven't thought of but at least with the label you could considerably just not even put any I mean with the tension on that when it is on you you can not even go with the tape and it's going to stay in there secure so at least I've given you an idea that you can play with a little bit there uh, something new so there you go guys uh, also people keep asking me since I posted pictures on Instagram of those lock picks once again I got that at uh, Jack's store the Black Scout survival store he's got a lot of really cool lock pick stuff plus he's got a really cool uh, He's got a lot of good videos on it as well with some more coming, so check out his playlist. But I'm going to have the links to uh, his store in the description box below if you're interested in picking up those uh, Bagoda lock picks. All right, guys, Chris from Prepare My 101. I'll uh, be back with another video here soon, so see you then.